It is nine o'clock and uh, today we're doing a photo shoot of a figure skater. So we're gonna do um, an on-site. So kind of got this vision for uh, kind of a backyard swamp, ponds type of shot with a figure skater and lighting it up as well. So what's special about this one today is that um, every year I, uh, I go to a, play, a conference called WPPI and it's a, a print competition as well. So um, amongst the print competitions, they also have what's called in-camera artistry. In-camera -cam artistry is uh, another thing that basically straight out of camera. So getting everything right inside the camera is kind of uh, the goal and the intention. So. Um, I've got two submissions to the in-camera artistry and of course I'm second guessing everything that I'm that I'm sub submitting so I'm cutting things down to the wire it is currently February 1st images are to be in Las Vegas or delivered via email because it's digital uh, by February 6th so I'm kind of going through and through and through all of my images and deciding that I want to try one more kick at the cat and uh, try and come up with something that's a little bit better or a little bit more um, complicated of a, of a setup and looks cool. So anyway, we're going to be shooting a figure skater on a swan. Stay tuned. All right, so we are here at a swamp, frozen swamp, and there's a lot of really cool dead stumps. Let's turn this around. So a lot of dead trees, some nice bulrushes in the back. There's some open water there, so probably won't be heading that way. But actually, I came in through there Timmy's, of course, and a big, huge crack in the ice, so that's a little, could be a bit concerning, but over here was definitely a lot better. So anyway, there's uh, this mass of stumps here that I kind of like, and just the way that they are, it shows a little bit of a V formation. So if I have Olivia right in the center, that V, then they kind of have leading lines leading down into her. Let's come around so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so here we have this here, and then this one here. And if I have her just in the foreground there, it might make for kind of a cool photo basically positioned right there. Little rushes in the back, that'll be nice and blurred out. Anyway, so thinking and uh, we'll go see if we can find Olivia. She should be parked probably across the road by now. It's almost uh, it's almost 10 o'clock, so finish my Timmy's and see how this works. got Olivia back there, got Kathy Mum right there, we've got a Octobox there, Westcott, and an Ellen Crom light right about there. So we're going to start doing some shots, some locking in the manual focus and um, having the skater do a little bit of a routine, some spins and start uh, trying to catch some action. So, all right, here we go.
Olivia and Kathy are going to go get changed and we're gonna go do a different setup. So we're done with the uh, with the figure skating shot for now because uh, everyone's getting cold and it's, uh, it's good. Like we got some really good shots, really happy with that. But the ice is, is pretty, pretty spongy and uh, we don't want her getting hurt or anything like that. So now we're going to do a different setup. We're gonna remove this guy, we're gonna kind of move from this location here where I had the V in the trees, which I kind of really liked. Uh, so we're gonna go set up actually over there. And uh, she's just gonna be wearing just kind of rather regular winter clothes and um, and having the bulrushes in the background and more of a more of a portrait shoot um, for this, just so we can kind of get some get some variety here. We're gonna have Olivia up by those uh, stumps right there. Uh, we've got a Westpot or Westcott Rapid Box XXL, and then we've got an Ellen Crom reflector. Can't even put my finger there. There, that's it, right there. Um, and that's um, I'll show you this thing actually. It's basically uh, it's it's kind of like a sports reflector. It's meant to really throw the light so you see there the shape of it and I'll throw this on the inside so this is the Ellen Crumb sports reflector and the idea with that is it just it's a really deep reflector and that throws a lot of light um, but that's just going to be used as a backlight for Olivia um, again I'm just going to have her posed up on these stumps here and then we've got some nice backdrop of some bull rushes there and very nice wintry scene because it's winter it's cold it's not that cold it's like zero or minus two or something like that canadian of course um so anyway we're having a good day good shoot so far really happy with with the results For this shoot, it is now quarter after 12. It's about zero degrees outside, so just on the freezing mark. Back in the van now, one of the coolest things about having a heater, your own heat source in a van, is that it's warm. It's 21 degrees in here. We've been outside shooting for two and a bit hours. My hands are numb. My vehicle is super warm. And uh, yeah, so that's really, really nice. So now, grab a coffee, get home, take a look at these images and see how they look straight out of camera. Okay, and we're back. It's about a month and a half later. Um, WPPI has come and gone. So how did we do? We scored a 76. So a 76 is still professional standards. It's pretty good for an international print competition. I would have liked to have seen it come up about the 80, but obviously that didn't happen. So a couple of things that the, the judges did say is that there's a stick in the background that looks like it's coming out of the back of Olivia's head. I totally agree with that. It's not the greatest, but that's what I had to work with. That was the best shot that I had out of all of them when I got back to the computer and started reviewing the images. Another thing that one of the judges said is that the fact that she was so centered within the frame, he didn't like that. And I totally understand the rule of thirds and everything, but uh, that's kind of what I was going for. So, you know, we agree to disagree on that one. Uh, what would I have done differently? Well, here is the edited image. Now, I would have submitted the uh, straight out of camera image for this one here, but the problem was that there was a stump in the foreground. And with in-camera artistry, you have to submit the raw file. You can't crop, you can't color grade, you can't do anything to it. So everything has to be correct within the frame, within the time that you take the, the shot. As you can see in the background, that stick's no longer no longer coming through the back of her head. Um, she still is centered. Uh, the stumps, I fixed the crop on it a little bit just to make it look a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, darkened the background a little bit and added a little bit more highlights onto her 
uh, making her the star, the star of the photo. So that was that. The other show, the other photos that we went through uh, were just portrait in, portraits images, and it's kind of not what this video is about, but it's again what I wanted to uh, to capture for for Olivia and her mom. So let's talk about the next video. While at WPPI, uh, at the end of it, we went out to uh, Death Valley. So we spent the whole day shooting. There was sun. It was a beautiful day. It was. We found one location. We wanted to go through a, to a bunch of different locations, but we ended up hanging out at one location for the whole of the day. Uh, one of the things I did differently, though, is I recently purchased the Polar Pro Summit Base Camp Filter System. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how I use this filter system, which is mainly for landscape photography, how I incorporate that into portrait photography using you know, just natural light, but also using uh, off-camera flash as well. So tune in for the next video, and that's what we're going to be talking about. So again, guys, thanks a lot for joining me. Thanks for hanging around this far. Like, subscribe, share, do all that wonderful stuff, and uh, have a great, awesome Easter weekend. See you guys.